Hey guys, Mike McManus and Lumi here with Drum and Ranch making part three of your how to use the sheep herding whistle tutorial. Uh, this is, again is specifically about tri ball, however, these whistles can be used on sheep. Um, this tutorial will be about how to use directional commands with a whistle and a stop behind the balls. So, you should already have your lie down and your come when called, that'll really help. And then we'll go on to teaching the directionals. So here's come by. Lumi, that'll do. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good. So that was come by, moving a clockwise direction around the balls. It's just from low to high. I'll do it again a few times. Um, again, if you're teaching this to your dogs from scratch, uh, it would be the same way you would teach a verbal command. You would just Take a piece of food and lure your dog around the ball. Whoops. Good girl. Good. Let's come back here. Good girl. So that, as you heard, was my command to stop and bounce behind the ball that she's closest to. So I have her trained to stop behind every ball, but sometimes I want to, it to be clear to her that's the one I want her behind. So I'll give her her command to move around, move around, move around, and when she's behind the ball I want, I give that short little burst. And that's similar to lie down, but for me it means balance behind the selected ball. That'll do. Good girl. So now I'll show you a way to me, which is the opposite whistle. So come by was from low to high. Lumi, that'll do. Come here. And away to me is from high to low. Good girl. Good. Now I'll show you a mix of the commands like I just did. Um, teaching her how to select the specific ball, and I like to throw the treat to her so she doesn't come to me. Um, that keeps her position behind the balls and focused. I'll just do a little bit more of this, and then you can go and practice. Good. Good girl. See you guys next time.